Let's say you have an unfinished basement and you want to turn it into usable, livable space, but you have one serious problem, and that problem is this, water. More specifically, water seepage from the outside coming in, and it's wetting everything. Well, there is a simple solution to that, and it's a solution that you can complete in a weekend. This is what it is, dry lock masonry waterproofer. Now, it's so easy to put on, and again, you can put it on in a weekend. It works on cement block walls just like this and all types of masonry. Before you do it, though, you need to make this simple test. Tape a 12 inch by 12 inch piece of aluminum foil tightly on all four edges to an interior basement wall. Remove it after several days. Now, when you check the test and if you find that you have water, on the inside of the foil or the wall side like this, you have seepage. You have water coming through from the outside and you need dry lock. If you have water on the inside of the foil, then you have condensation. And by the way, both of these problems can occur at the same time. If you do have condensation, then you need a dehumidifier in that room. Now we're going to go outside and check for drainage problems that might create this problem. Check for leaky gutters and downspouts, blocked drainage pipes, or improper grading that directs groundwater runoff towards your foundation. Now, I'll prepare the surface to be waterproofed by removing any loose mortar, dust, and dirt with a wire brush. Now, a good tip before using a patching product is to wet the area where you're going to be working. Fill any holes and cracks with a fast-setting hydraulic cement like Dry Lock Fast Plug. Be sure to seal the floor and wall joints, which are often overlooked as a source for water seepage. With all products, read and follow the manufacturer's instructions. The worst enemy to waterproofing products is this. It's called efflorescence, and it appears as a white powdery residue on the surface. It comes from natural occurring salt that's already in this masonry and makes its way to the surface, but we need to get rid of all of this before we do any waterproofing. To get it off, use muriatic acid or dry lock etch according to the manufacturer's instructions. Be sure to follow the warning labels since you are using an acid. Rinse thoroughly and allow to dry. Okay, now we are ready to waterproof. Now to do this, you'll want to use a good quality synthetic bristle paintbrush. You'll take the dry lock. It's not like putting on paint. You need to really work this into the pores of the block. So rather than just brushing on like paint, you'll want to go back and forth, get in all these pores, and fill them in really good. Dry lock works by penetrating the surface pores. It fills them, expands as it dries, and becomes part of the wall to form a tough waterproof barrier that's guaranteed to stop water, even under pressure. So I don't want to leave any pinholes open or spread it too thin. That's all there is to it. After 24 hours, apply a second coat with either a brush or a roller. So you see, there really is no reason that you have to live with a drab, wet basement. We did all of this in just one weekend using Dry Lock Masonry Waterproofer, and you can do the same thing too. Dry Lock is available at your favorite paint store, hardware store, lumber yard, or home center.